Hello, this is Mr. Jack Triple Zero here playing Automation the Car Company Tycoon game. And I recently bought this on Steam a little while back. Uh I Well let's uh let's start off with the sandbox mode. On here I built some cars trying to get like used to the game here, so let's uh build a new car here. If she loads up. Because of this new operating system, it's starting to run a little slower in this uh four year old Dell Inspiron computer. Here we go. So, um, I'm just trying to build a, uh, mid-engine car, so we go up here to the category, it says mid-engine. And, what car should we go? Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking about, uh, maybe this car right here, like the little Ferrari look? Uh, hmm... Should I or uh I guess I'll do this one because I already done a Ferrari on here, but it's off camera. I go one of the McLaren look to it, like the MP4. This is like the smaller version. Uh, did a bigger version because I could put a bigger engine in it if I want to. Okay, let's extend these fenders out. Put some fender flares up here. How? Anything else to change if I want? I think I'll probably extend the backs if I want, but let's see what I could do. I'm gonna do front. A little bit more, good. And we're gonna go to the backish area. Extend those out. Whoa, too far, too far. A little bit back. Okay, here. That's better. Now uh, it's back. Mm. Keep it where it's at. And uh, the like where the brake lights are at, like this part. Probably adjust them up a little. Mm. Should I? Yeah, I'll just keep them like that. It's a little bit better. I think there's... I don't know, how the top. I think the roof. Mm. That's good, good enough. Alright, we can put the monocoque chassis. Of course, the only option. New carbon fiber on the material. And engine placement. Hmm. Rear or a mid... Longitudinal. Transverse and odds mark a front wheel. Do a little bit longitudinal. Put double wishbones on both front and back. And carbon fiber for panel material. Alright, now let's build the car itself. Like the headlights. What should I go for? Hmm. Maybe these little, uh. Cadillac Escalade looking lights would be good enough. Hold on, if I can get some mouse. Alright, here. Alright, I've seen the Cadillac Escalade lights would work. That would look a little awkward, but let's give it a try. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Whoa. Ooh. Hold back a little. Okay, let's scroll them towards like the welding part of bu uh, bumper. I won't go. Uh, this thing ain't going like towards the bumper area. I'll try do another one. Maybe I'll pick uh, maybe one of these on the bottom left. See, looks, placement looks so looks good. I place them with uh, I'll adjust them. Make more of a Different angle to him. Whoa! It's just a rotational part. It's just messing me up. And whoa, the bottom part looks too big. Mm, maybe like that. Pull him down a little. Or pull him up. And I think I'm gonna pull this up. That looks. Hmm. Looks a little decent on the front end of the headlights. Uh, 
before I go for it. It's okay, we're going on in grills. Let's pick uh, maybe this one. Yeah, I got put a. I think I'm gonna put a chrome strip on this and slap it on here. Let me size it and go up. Mm, I think the chrome strip looks a little bit awkward. Let's just uh, tone it back down. The normal grill. Because the chrome strip makes it even look more awkward. It's kind of thought of mine. If I flip them. Nah, it looks a little weird. How does this do to smiley grill? Looks good enough. Alright, bonnet. I'm going to put like a little serious huge bonnet. Like a a vented bonnet so this engine can cool down because I'm putting like a I know a V8 but what would be the size of it? I'm planning to be like a big V8 engine maybe in this car so when I add a huge bonnet to make it cool down even more about 62 kilojoules almost 62.2 kilojoules a second alright we're going for vents maybe we'll pick uh, these and I think I'm going to place them over here to make them blacked out, like a carbon look to it. Slap it here. Make it bigger, of course. Kind of messed up how the cooling fixture just goes awkward. It's just f uh, f uh, fluctuating from like 600 to like 50-something kilojoules. See, 90-something kilojoules, 92. And it's fluctuating from 5 600 now I'm rotating it, so it's going to definitely functionate. Alright, over 1,500 kilojoules a second of total body cooling. Just put it down because it's going up to the door. I don't know if they would... I don't know if I've seen cars actually work like that. They put the vents half on the door, half on the body panel. I think they work. But I don't know how it would work if you got the door cracked and you leave it there the entire time. <laughs> I'll just pull them in the back, but it looks very weird, but I guess I have to here. <laughs> Unless I can go unrealistic and just put on a door. Okay, handles. Let's uh, zoom in. And uh, hmm. go for one of these handles, I guess. Put the chrome's chroming on it. And stuff it here. Hmm, I don't know if crawl would work, or maybe like a, go for like a metallic black or something. I'll try metallic black. See how it looks out. Oh, it looks pretty good. I'll take that. <clears throat> Alrighty, now we're going to the back. And creating the taillights and the wing, whatever we can put on this thing. Alright, let's add a little cycle, not to cycle the taillights. Hmm, I think for this type of car, looks of it, um, I think I'm going for the Sylvia S15 lights. Because, uh, well, it look, looks a little ideal for me, even for the body shape of this car, this McLaren looking car. Because it'll be kind of nice if, uh, you like an update, like, like in the future, because I know they're building V12s at this moment, but the sounds are final. Like, maybe, like, later on, it could add, like, more designs, like, uh, you know, a Honda Civic. I think they have Honda Civic lights. I don't know. Like, Honda Civic lights, Toyota Camrys, or whatever type of car, like, economy car, midsize, or any random car you can choose. And how am I going through the vent? I'm hitting the brake lights, and it's, uh, moving the vent somehow. Move them up a little. Uh, guess that would work. Yep. Like I was saying about the uh, cars, like they can add like a little bit more taillights, like mid-size sedans, to like economy cars or whatever. Maybe exhausts. I kind of keep the exhausts how they are. Maybe I add like one or two more. F like it's just like a little recommendation, but no. Well, I can deal with the taillights, but maybe... Not taillights, the exhaust pipes, but taillights... I think I would add, like, a 
few more. Just uh, like mention the body shape of this car instead of big offset or whatever. Okay, put the wing. I don't like a huge like racer wing on it because this car is not a racer. It's more like a, a supercar on the road. Rotate it more, and okay, what is up with the wing? It's on the taillights. That seems realistic. Put the wings on the taillights. Like that. Alright, let's... Size it more. Maybe right there, that's good. That'll be good. Alright. I'll just put a badge on it, like, uh... Maybe this one. A little Aston Martin looking badge. Uh, put it here. And uh, I'll resize it. Give like a little look to the badge. Like, yo, this is the... The Jenkin whatever automobile company. We got the huge badge on it. It looks like the Aston Martin. Yeah, I hear indicators. Um, I might throw an indicator. <laughs> oh, why? I just feel like throwing an indicator. Could I fit one on the top fender? Apparently, I can. There's a lot of red spots, which is I can't put it there. So, God damn it. no way. Matter of fact, let me put it on. I think right there is good. Anything good, car? Oh, I'll put the badge. Oh, let me mute my phone real quick. I'll put it on because I'll do it. Here. Good. All right, I got the phone muted. Professional multitasking. And I think this car is... Whoa! I think this car is good enough. Get that little camera snap right there. Uh, let's scroll over. If she can run. If she can run. Alright, here we go. We're going to do a... Jeez, uh, camera, you want to wake up. I think we're going to do like a uh, longitudinal... Let's put a yellow car on it. A yellow color. So let's go ahead and select uh, longitudinal rear wheel drive because um, I could fit a little bit bigger engine on this car anyways. You know, I'm doing black in this car. Oh yeah, that looks a little better. Yo, looks better. Alright, now the engine. Go for a V flat plane. Eight cylinder, of course, the only option. ECM engine. Do overhead cams. Yeah, five valve. Ooh, silicone. Yeah, at least toss the VVL option. <laughs> so All right, billet steel, crank, titanium, and forged pistons. The only mission's crappy on that thing. All right, compression. Let's go to nine on this thing. Camp profile, let's put up to like a like a 70 in sport mode. Alright, oh, whoops. I'll put VVT on this thing for the heck of it. So I can have like a little bit more economy, everything. Turbocharger, yes indeed. Race setup. Uh, put an injection system, a direct injection, and a throttle per cylinder, and a racing setup. And to be reasonable, let's put a uh, super fuel type. I don't want ultimate, so this car cannot be on the road like it's a uh, like a uh, sports car from like uh, the 24-hour Nurburgring or whatever. Put short casts, dual exhausts, like a pretty big exhaust. Let's do high flow three-way. Like we are building like a car that's going to be on the road, like the Bugatti. Reverse flow. Yeah, no, that's going to reduce airflow. I'm gonna do straight through. It's got less noise reduction, so people can hear that distinctive sound of the engine. All right, see how she runs. So 
Turbo's starting to kick in. Here we go. We're at 681 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, but torque's kind of high, like approaching max RPM. If you're like a serious car company, then you need to change your RP, uh, change the torque on that thing. Uh, let's make the engine a lot bigger. Like, see if we can max it out. There. And let's do the stroke. Let's get like a little bit higher RPM. Yeah, there's more. Ah. Let's make it put the stroke. Alright, 6.8 cubic centimeters. So that's a 6.8 liter engine. That's what that thing is. Alright. Oh, I forgot to put ball bearings and intercoolers in this thing. Whoa! Okay, we got some stuff to deal with. Putting a little intercooler on this thing. <laughs> the turbocharger's all red. That's gonna be bad. It's up to compress or some. Alright, we're over a thousand horsepower. This thing is a... This thing could run. I mean, she can run. Alright. We're gonna... Keep going now. It's turning orange, so... That's a little bit better. Okay, now the exhaust is going orange-ish, so let's up it up to four. Because that's starting to reduce significant horsepower. Bypass work? Yeah, they always slightly work. Um, we're going to up the quality on this thing. We're like we're building a engine that we've never built. And we spent like thousands of dollars on this thing. And boost, we need that. Turbo chargers. We're gonna run that. And this won't work. Alright, stats kinda. Wait, the torque's changing on the uh, on increases. Alright, now it's increasing horsepower. Alright, here we go. Good. Everything else is good, but it's just the uh turbo chargers, so it's up the compressor some. I haven't done not really much experience with turbochargers and stuff, so I just up everything if it's increasing horsepower and torque. Dude, look at the emissions. I just noticed it's at 16. That thing is like at a uh, hybrid level, like a Prius hybrid or something, or the Insight. Some. There's an. Oh crap, engine's getting big. Oh, because they done a full click. I thought I just hit the up button, but well, it's a little bit too low. That's funny, the emissions are that high, uh, that low with a stupidly high performance vehicle, like, uh, we're at nearly 1300 horsepower, we're at 1285, right, let's put the turbine up, 1315 and counting, alright now, uh, the torque is starting to increase its RPM, 4,600, 47, 48. I kind of feel like if you're like in a racing company or whatever, like Renault Sport or whatever, then that that can be a big deal, the turbocharger. You want to take a fair level to reduce turbo lag. All right, now the one side, the compressor is green, and the one to the right, I think that's the turbine or something, is like all like getting orange. All right, what if I pimped out the H AR ratio? Alright, it improves torque, but our, the RPM comes in late. Like it's approaching right, 56,000. Okay, that's that's pretty bad. Let's tone that down a little. Increase the boost. Okay, that's too much. Let's just gradually increase the boost. This is one heck of a monster right here. Make it. Alright, now that's. Torque's getting high, and if it's RPM, it's want to lower it a little. All right, now it's too big. Can't up the compressor anymore. All right, let me stats chart. Okay. Well, okay, let's. All right, let's put the uh, not for us, turbine up a little. I uh, can't because it's reducing performance index, which is on the top left. Not the ignition tank. Let's look at the fuel mixture. I'm like way below the fuel mixture. Let's up it up some. Like a lot. 1500 horsepower. Look at that. And counting. 
I am like making a super high advanced ignition timing on this thing. And let's put this at 7,500 RPM. No, 74 because it's red line. Yeah, it's 76. Nah, it's starting to go up. There we go. Right. And you were getting close to the limit of a uh, fuel mixture. And we just maxed it. We didn't max. Yep. You have a highly advanced engine. Ignition timing, I meant. And a high fuel... Not high fuel mixture, but we're getting close to our fuel mixture. Let's up the compression some. And it's knocking. We'll figure. So 9.3. Uh, I have to cut the cam profile a little. Uh, that's good because it's reducing horsepower and torque a little. That's just reducing torque. There we go. I think we're good on everything. How the boost? Back that up a little. Until like, we hit the fuel mixture. Okay, now it's knocking. Yeah, look at that horsepower. 1627. Alright, let's tone that down a little because it's maxing out its RPM. Up the, uh, I think I can't. So I think the exhaust has got to choke because it's too big. Alright, 1627 HP, 1275 pounds of torque. Yeah, 5200 RPM, didn't check that. Sequential, gearbox, double clutch. 7 speed. Dang, 243. That is... That's uh, pretty good. Pretty good, to be honest, for a car like that. I'll put an electric LSD on it. And about the quality. Now we're at 248 top speed, but it'll change if we put tires on this. Let's do 76. Carbon fiber. Lightest we can get. 5 kilograms. Ha! <laughs> Alright, quality. Max out. And, um, let's do the, uh, tire width. Let's, let's, um, that's kind of big. Alright, that seems reasonable. About that. This. Yeah. Not the diameter smidge. Oh, we can't. Put some 17s on this. Alright, do carbon ceramic. A four piston because we gotta get this dude to stop if he's like a street racer or something. And we gotta like make him stop before he like uh, you know hits a tree or hits another car at like 180 miles an hour or something very stupid. Like no, that would happen. Increased quality. Yeah, that'll definitely help braking the car. All right, downforce. Let's under trade the downforce. Increase that a lot. Put an active wing and coin flaps. And oh crap, I need to cool this engine even more. I think I have to cool the engine more. Can we? Yeah, we gotta cool the engine more. Because I kinda noticed I'm putting the brake airflow because I had to get like more um more cooling because when I put brake flow up it reduces the uh, cooling of the engine. Because it's these are uh, trying to at the end. I think it's like getting like the overall cooling you have in your car and it's trying to push it over to the uh, brake so it's reducing the cooling of the engine and it's transferring over to the brakes. Alright, so I have to readjust this little vent. Let's see if this one works. It would work. Is that 14 or 34? 1,434, that's what it means in total kilojoules. Uh, kilo uh, slightly more, like another 5 or 6 right there, and whoops, not the size. Let's up this up a smidge. Alright, that's plenty. Accept it, and go back to the trim. It loads, okay. What's our... Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's, um... Go to seats. Two-seater. 
let's put handmade because you know supercars they gotta have handmade they gotta give that they have to give that feel this car like when you sit down you're like I'm in the official car the fastest car yeah. alright put some band safety on here and uh, all the all the stuff on here like uh, power steering all right, active sports, semi-active, passive sway bars, and put it on sport. Let's just go back to the gear ratios and up the top speed because we put down downforce on this thing, so it's got to have more speed. All right, what do we have in this thing? We have, oh, look at the safety, 84, that is Great. Sportiness. Big time. Comfort. Good. No utility. 246.6 miles an hour and 2.8 uh, seconds top speed. Alright, let's go to Top Gear Trek. Let's see the time on this thing. Should we start? Through, I think, 4,000 RPM. It, it's his first gear. One why the engine's advanced. It's ignition. Alright. 1 minute 22.8. Oh, 05 seconds. I think it is slightly faster than the Ford GT if I can look at it. Well, this is the last of the car here they building, so this is Jack and Triple Zero. Um, I guess we'll see you in the next video.